Welcome back. In this video, we are given this function f of x is x squared e to the power x. And we want to find the derivative of order 500 at 0. Okay? So this means that we need to differentiate f of x 500 times and we need to evaluate at 0. Okay? So there is a, an easy way and that a formula that we can use here. Okay? But uh, if we don't know that formula, we can uh, start uh, uh, differentiating and we're going to see some formula and we can generalize that and we can prove it by induction. So this is one way. But for us, we're going to use the Leibniz rule uh, for the nth derivative. Okay. So if we assume that we have uh, functions that are differentiable, we can say that if f of x can be written as the product of some h of x, g of x, then the derivative of order n of f is uh, the sum with k going from 0 to n, and choose k, h, k. That means the derivative of order k of h times the derivative of order n minus k of g. So this looks like the binomial theorem. Okay. Or in fact, we if we we can prove this one using the induction and the binomial coefficients. Okay. But we are not going to prove it here. All we're going to do is we're going to use it to find the derivative of order 500 and we apply it to zero. Okay. In our case here, we can simplify this formula a bit. Okay. Note that if we take, uh, if we take uh, in in this in this function, if we take h of x as x squared and g of x as e to the power x. Okay. So here we note that uh, uh, we know that the the derivative of the exponential is itself. Okay. So no matter how many times we differentiate the exponential, it's going to be itself. So we got to use this fact here, okay? Another key idea is that uh, x squared, if we differentiate it zero time, it's going to be itself. If we differentiate it one time, it's going to be 2x. Two times, it's going to be 2. And three times, it's going to be zero. Okay? So therefore here, when we start from k going from zero to three, everything will be zero because this this one here, this derivative will be zero and it's gonna knock down everything, okay? So we're gonna use this fact here. So remember what we said that the derivative of the exponential is gonna be itself, okay? So we'll take it out. So here this means that g n minus k is the exponential, okay? That means the derivative of the exponential is, is itself. So we'll take it to the front. So this gives us that fn of x is going to be e to the power x, the sum, k okay, going from 0 to n, and choose k, uh, x squared, k, and we, I took the exponential to the front. So here we, we see that we're going to stop at 2, because if we differentiate 3 times, this one will be 0. This means that we're going to sum from 0, 1, and 2, okay? So here, when k is 0, we're going to have n 0, and times x squared, okay? Because the derivative of order 0 of x squared is x squared. Next, uh, the derivative of order 1, it's going to be 2x, and next, the derivative of order uh, 2 is going to give us n, 2, and nothing else because all the others will be 0 because here we have the derivatives of x squared will be 0 after the second derivative. Okay? So now we see that we have a general formula. So we will let's simplify it. So here e to the x, n choose 0 is 1. So we have x squared to n choose 1 is n times x 
plus 2 and choose 2 it's n times n minus 1 over 2 okay so I'm using this coefficient here so n choose k is n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial okay see what we have k is 0 okay so we have n factorial over n factorial and k and 0 factorial is 1 okay when we have k is 1 so we have n factorial over n minus 1 factorial times uh, times 1 so we can we can factor out n times n minus 1 factorial and we we simplify by n minus 1 factorial okay anyways so here we have e to the power x x squared plus 2 and x plus uh, uh, 2 2n n minus 1 And that's it because I had to simplify by two. Okay. Now I can I can I can find so f n of x. This is the general formula. Now I can plug n for five hundred and x for zero. When I do that, so f five hundred zero. So e to zero is one. This is zero. This is zero. And n is five hundred. So I have five hundred times four ninety nine. And this is like 1,000 times 499, so 49, 499,000 divided by 2, I think that's 249,500. Okay, so the value is 249,500. So this is, uh, I think this is the correct value, 249,500. Okay, I think this is the value, the right value that we can get. Okay. Anyways, so we had to use this formula here that we didn't prove. The derivative of order n of the product or, or for some function is given by this formula. And uh, I think that's, that's, uh, uh, that's all. So the value that we need is this one here, okay? If you see any errors or mistakes, please let me know. Thank you very much.